We create our own demons. They haunt us, hurt us, entice us. Yet, in stories, demons are also creatures that we make deals with. They offer means of getting what we want, or relief from a bad situation. Through questionable means, they can offer warmth in the darkness. So that brings us back to our original question, the one I asked you to ponder at the beginning of the lecture. Can noble ends justify despicable means? Well, what I want you to take with you is this. Everything, even what we see as evil, has its purpose. When we do bad things, we hope to gain something from it, be it satisfactory or be it necessary. We turn off that human morality and we embrace a more primal version of ourselves, more primal emotions. One could say we take on a different persona that can handle doing the things that we do. It's a trait like any other. The fact that we are bipedal or speak for languages doesn't define the person that we are. It just means we're human. Evil is a human trait. We all have it. We all use it. We should, of course, never just blatantly condone it. We have laws for a reason, after all. But we also shouldn't think that one person is always pure and good, because that wouldn't be human. And even then, dark deeds can still have the noblest of intentions. If you're interested in more theories on this aspect of psychology, I recommend reading my recently published book, The Mask of Man. And again, I'm Dr. Nicholas Jekyll. Thank you for your attention. Hey, you. So, how was I? Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Not bad for my first lecture indeed. But still, please don't tell anyone it was my first time. Oh, you didn't know I handled psychological sciences. Well, that part of my work isn't quite as well known as my other fields of expertise, but, well, maybe I should be more public about it, since one of my most avid students didn't know I studied it. Do I mean it? Well, Yes, I mean, but I know you're very busy. You can't possibly keep track of all I'm... Oh, oh, you were talking about that. Oh, well, of course. You're a very hard-working, respected pupil and a valued assistant, and I dare say, a friend. It's been an honour so far to have been your teacher, and I dare say, mentor. You being here tonight, it means a lot to me. I mean... I get offered an opportunity to lecture in your hometown of all places, and you come and support me. <laughs> How can I not give you an A for effort? You know, I was also pleased to learn that you purchased my latest book. Saw you flipping through it during the lecture. Have you finished it yet? Ah, yes, very correct. It is indeed a very far cry from my usual writing style. I used to only write on the hard facts in the fields of chemistry and medicine, but recently I found that psychology has so much more to offer than I originally believed. For all of our understanding in this modern age, the mind still seems to be the great mystery in science. I find it important to delve deep into its secrets, hence all the wild theories recently. I believe that one day we will have all the answers to the questions of the mind. We will understand it in ways that we can now only dream about. Mental health, criminology, instincts, even what we can refer to as the soul. One day, we will find a way to revolutionize our understanding of it all. <laughs> Sorry, I'm... <laughs> I'm doing it again, aren't I? Ranting on? Okay, okay. Glad to hear that you don't mind my appalling manners. Oh, you, you want to do what? Celebrate my success tonight. <laughs> Show me a good place to have a drink. Uh, no, no, thank you. I'm not much of a going out type of person. Uh, well, all right then. I suppose one pint can't hurt. And it wouldn't be right to turn down a chance to see a bit more of the town you grew up in. Besides, if it's all right with you, I'd like to discuss something. Something I'd rather keep between the two of us.
Thank you. Cheers. Oh, oh. <laughs> you were right about this stuff. It does pack quite a kick. Ooh, I must say, this really isn't my usual scene, but it's quite invigorating as well. Hmm? <laughs> Talking like a nerd, am I? <laughs> I suppose I am a bit, yes. It may be a consequence of working all day in a dusty laboratory. Ah. Yes, I, um, I did have something I wanted to talk to you about. But, really, here, you, you mustn't tell anyone what I'm about to tell you now. Not yet, anyway. I think, I think the world just isn't ready yet. Thank you. Good. You remember all those late evenings after class when you assisted me in my never-ending researches? <laughs> of course you do. Without your takeouts and forced breaks, I wouldn't have survived. My experimentation of the hybrid science of chemistry combined with the theories of modern psychology, with you as my fateful assistant, we delved into the truly unknown together. It was thanks to your help that I was able to push my research further and further into proving a reality. It's a shame that you had to move back home as quickly as you did, because You've never gotten the chance to see the fruits of our labor. I've been perfecting our most promising project of all, a substance that can be used to separate different aspects of our own subconscious, a serum that can unlock secrets, tools of the soul that we didn't even know existed. I sound like a madman, I know, but in all the time that we've worked together, have I ever made a promise I haven't kept have I ever lied to you? What? Um... Yeah, um... Wow, I, I guess you're right. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. Maybe I brought this up prematurely. Uh, maybe it's not the right time for this just yet. Another drink? Um, no. Thank you. I'm... Feeling a little tired, actually. If it's okay with you, uh, I'd like to go back to my hotel and rest a bit. Oh, it's, it's, it's no trouble. I walk myself. My bags? Uh, well, I mean, if you're offering, I'd like to have the help carrying them. But thank you. Thank you, my friend. Shall we be off, then? Right, so... This is me. Thanks for the assist. I'll see you in the morning and we'll... Um... Evening, gents. Uh, can we help them? <coughs> what? What's all this about? <coughs> what are you... What are you talking about? I've never... No. No. I know you. The other night, I... He... No! No! Leave them out of this! They've done nothing! Do... not... harm them. Armed. Angry. Vengeful. They reek of hate. Of death. Friend! In my satchel, there's a glowing blue vial. Throw it to me! <laughs> Apologies, my friend, for what you're about to see. Yes. where one could walk the streets in peace seem to be long gone. <laughs>
<laughs> if they ever existed in this town. And here I thought this would be a spectacularly boring evening. <laughs> Quit your boasting, Hyde. Protect my student. Please. Ugh. You just never let up, do you, Nikki? Hyde. Fine. But only because I'll never hear the end of it otherwise. You, Junior. You might want to look away. This could get ugly. Now this, this is more like it. Should have done this the very night I first saw these twats. Oh, I guess you're still here, Junior. Behind me, what? <clears throat> now you've done it. Someone is going to die. What the? Well, would you look at that? <laughs> Ooh, nice. Mm. Mm, look at them go. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you think you know. You think you know a person and then they turn into a beast, flaying everyone that gets in their way. And for once, I'm not talking about myself. <laughs> The student, Jekyll's loyal little assistant, the junior, beating those scummy lowlifes into the dirt. Gotta admit, even I'm impressed. <laughs> and believe me, I never say that. What was that? Well, I've had some runnings with those guys since we got here. Let's just say we've had a disagreement. I'll tell you when you're older. Ah. You mean what happened to me? Never seen good old Nicky like that before, have you? <laughs> Nicky? Oh, from Nicholas. Oh, what's the harm in giving your best friend a pet name? Oh no. No, Junior. I'm not Jekyll. <laughs> Let's just say the doctor is... Out for tonight. It's a true shame that he couldn't introduce me to you earlier. After all, it was through your assistance that Jekyll met me. Yes, me. You know what Jekyll was working on? Everyone's favorite little nerd wanted to tear his own dark impulses from the angel that he seemed to be. And right after you left, he finally got bonkers enough to finish it. A little cocktail. Quite a kick it has. Really brings out the me in him. You could call me Nicky's better side. His more interesting impulses, emotions, desires, personified. Nicky calls me his evil twin. <laughs> a soul so dark... It should stay hidden. Mr. Damien Hyde, at your service. Speaking of nice people, you're not really what you seem either, are you? Stomping on those guys like ants. You're hiding something yourself. Oh, don't give me that. I know I'm right. I smell it on you. What turns a soul so seemingly pure into something so vile? What could it possibly be, hmm? Abused as a child? Got spanked by daddy one too many times? And mummy may not have been around much to help? Maybe I'm talking to the one who was the little piss pole of the group in school. Milk got stolen? Or just picked on for staying inside with a crooked nose in a math book? Maybe a lover's gone dark on you. 
left for someone a bit mm, taller. Or maybe I sense a feeling of being owed. An upstanding member of society, giving all they have to everyone, and getting kicked as a reward. So, society is indebted now, and debts must be collected. Specific, you say? <laughs> well, maybe I already know who you are. Maybe I know all the books that you like, the hobbies you have, the kind of kinks that turn you on. You and Jekyll have pulled some long nights in the lab. The things you tell each other when the hour is late. The things I hear. Oh no, no. I'm not wrong. Everything I said really happened. Well, I didn't say it happened to you now, did I? No, that's what dear old Nicky's had to do. That's what he had to stomach. With some dramatic flair thrown in for fun. It's a building of his rage, his humiliation, his desire that drove Jackal so mad that he wanted to separate his negative emotions from him. Perch the evil within, I think he called it. But what that first shot of high juice really did was give his evil form. So, what's your excuse? Hmm. Outbursts. Hard on those around you. Incidents? <laughs> Wouldn't be surprised if those incidents turned out to be naughty. Useful. Your anger is useful. Hmm. You learn faster than Nicky. He first thought I was a disease, the fool. But I managed to whisper some sense into that big brain. He never stopped making the serum, you know. It was too tempting, letting loose for a while. And when he saw how useful his anger was, he started downing the good stuff more often. Mostly as a quick solution to his problems. These days he whips me out for just about anything. Fights, disguises, poker games. <laughs> well, haven't you noticed? Oh, bloody hell, you are so blind. If it wasn't already obvious, I'm quite tough. Those guys shot me in the back earlier. Do you see a dead Damien around here? Not to mention, I've got some muscle under this skin. <laughs> I could lift this car if I want. Here, watch. <clears throat> see? I don't call that serum the good stuff for nothing. What are you doing? Stop! No! That is not yours to drink. You don't want to. Why? Because... Because it could kill you. And then... Jekyll would never stop whining about it. Besides... I can't have another me running around, stealing the spotlight. There's only room for one predator in this jungle. <sighs> Look. You feeling down? Like you want to scream at the world? Take some advice from Uncle Hyde. Use that. Let it out where you must. Like you did tonight. And cool it where you don't need it. Why do you think I still let Nicky behind the wheel of this body? He's the one that people actually want to talk to and, well, don't walk away from. I'd have no one to infuriate otherwise. It's okay. You are forgiven, as my dear friend Nicky would say. I'm pretty sure it's past your bedtime anyway. Go home. Where am I going? Oh, well, the night's still young, dear. And I've only just woken up. I've had my fill of your company for a while, though I'm sure Nicky will want to talk to you in the morning, so I suppose we're not rid of you completely. And, uh, stay away from the vials. I'll see you around.
Junior. Why did you stop them? I told them. There can be only one of me. You like them. <laughs>